Market rent tenants are a pain in the butt. Wait till those purpose-built rentals have 200 units of a bunch of people paying market rent. Yeah, let's see how that goes on the management side. Good luck. It's like, yeah, um, yeah they love it. I think we've got a divergence in markets that uh, I, I think personally will, will, will be sustained for a lot longer than um, past divergences. You know, sometimes you'll see that the market's going together, Daryl, where, you know, condos and houses are all going up and they're all going down and everything's moving. We started to see a huge um, change, I think, from 2017. You know, we've just seen a lot more, uh, you know, tales of two markets. I think now is it's going to, it's, it's never going to go back. You know, it's going to take a long time for those two markets to ever be in sync. We're just not going to be building any more detached houses. There's, there's really just not much of a, a, a landscape for us to be able to do that. We have to be going into more apartment style living, you know, whether that be New York esque or any, anything else, like this is just the way that a big city operates. Like there's no big city in the world where, you know, everyone can own a freehold detached house and, and live in low rise. You know, we just have to have more and more people. And I think sure. the volatility in the condo market will always remain. And I think that it'll it'll be steady as she goes in, in freehold. So, but even the renters don't want the product that's available that's new now. So are is there actually a economy here that can afford what they want to, to rent? Like, can people pay? Because everybody we talked to, we talked about this before, TK, right? Everybody that is doing a performa for a purpose-built rental building is using the number four for the rental amount per month per square foot, okay? It doesn't matter where this building is, the number is four. So yeah. what's gonna happen to rental prices when all this new stuff comes out? I mean, it's all coming out at at least four, right? Or it may not launch, which I guess is inflationary on rental prices, but is the demand there for this kind of thing, right? Can people actually do that? Because let's say it's a thousand square foot, two bedroom at four bucks. That's four grand, right? Did I do the math right? That should have been easy. Four grand, right? So can people afford four grand for a two bedroom apartment? You can if there's four of you splitting it. Four of you. That's the catch so the right kids there. Kids have to work and they have I'm to get in the bunk in. bed business. Is that but, how? But but that's what it is. And more more people per units. I ran a a quick analysis for a girl this week. It was she was paying fifteen hundred dollars a month rent putting money into a GIC doesn't make sense to buy. And it, and it didn't, it didn't make any sense for her to buy. She had cheap rent. The GIC was going to pay her a certain amount. She was low income or tax impact was small mm -hmm. and the cost of interest and everything else for her $800,000 condo that she was going to buy, which is comparable to what she was living in right now meant over five years, she was down like $70,000 or, or more, you know, mm -hmm. than where she would have been if she just rented. So there's lots of scenarios like that. So I think, we underestimate the amount of people currently in rentals who are at three, four, five year ago prices who will just yeah. stay there. Sure. But what about all these new people? Like they got to go will be somewhere. bunking up. They will be bunking, bunking up, up in new you, places. You, you can't get $1,500 a month. So you're going to pay $4,000 a month and you're right. all going to live in one spot. We got a guy who got a multiplex in the city and he wanted to get the highest rent possible. And so, you know, against our advice, he said, well, I'm going to do it myself and rent it out off of Kijiji or Facebook or whatever it was. And so now he's got all these people living there, you know, because they're all people who couldn't have use a realtor to be able to go and, you know, rent a place because maybe their applications or whatever like that weren't the right ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, so now he's got all these people living in the house, you know, they're all stacked on top of each other. It's already got three units in there. So there's just a ton of people, shoes and jackets and cigarette butts and everything like that. And it's like a brand new multiplex. And it's just like, all right. You got you got your numbers. You got your rent. You right. know, so like, like, is that really what what people want? Like, is that the type of investment you want? People complain about under market rents. All the landlords who come to me and say like, well, my tenants haven't been, you know, increased their rent in ten years, are the happiest people I know. Yeah, they take because care of the building. The building they is don't get organized. Out, right? Market rent tenants are a pain in the butt. Wait till those purpose-built rentals have 200 units of a bunch of people paying market rent. Yeah, let's see how that goes on the management side. Good luck. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, we had uh, we had this uh, like a stack of 676 square foot, uh, one and dens, two baths to uh, to lease out for a developer friend. And um, I'll tell you guys, man, the amount of applications we got for those one and dens, the, the amount of rental applications we got that had four five names on them and i'm like first of all respect for one and on, den 
Oh, yeah. Fuck. First of all, like respect the honesty. Like, for, like uh, maybe I don't respect it because like, why would you like just <laughs> so obviously dumb. if you want it, you should <laughs> but, lie about it. Yeah. Like, but it's not even legal for us to like, we can't like the maximum, but the bylaw of the building, like the maximum occupancy for that unit is not five people. Yeah. So we can't lease it to you. Right. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's, it's, uh, and tons of international students on those, on those. Uh, so hold on. What's a stack of these look like? How many is in a stack? Just one. I think it was 18 in total. We had to rent okay. out. And so how long did it take you to actually rent all 18 out? Like a month. A month. This was like a builder's standing inventory. Like there was the building yeah. was complete. Yeah, standing inventory. Okay. Yeah. And so then they said, let's. So they're, they were able to do that, obviously, because their financing was already satisfied. But they were like, it doesn't make sense to sell these in this market. So we're going to rent yeah. it out, even yeah, though there's right. going to be like HST stuff like that that they're going to have to deal with. Yeah, other implications. Yeah, the plan was to rent it out for two years and, and reconsider at that point. So, wow. okay. That's a pretty so, clear sign of what's. It's also funny how many times. Better. Yeah, and it's also fun, funny how many times you get a, you know, a triple A application. Everything looks great. Everybody's perfect. And then you, yeah, you run them through single key and they're not even who they said they were. They don't work <laughs> right. where they said they work. And uh, none of it's sure. true. No, absolutely none of it's true. Like we had someone, you know, perfect credit score, perfect everything. Run them through single key, 400 something credit score. Um, yeah, anyways, yeah. So, so, so the it, paperwork it, came in. Yeah. PDF said perfect yeah. credit score. Hey guys, thanks for watching our clips channel. Why don't you go and check out some more clips? We got lots of other good content somewhere over here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Boom. That was good. That was good. That was good. I like that. That was good.